Today I want to talk with you about a couple of the uh, how to pistols that we have coming up in our August premiere auction. Really what a how to pistol is, is it's named after a, uh, a carrier on top of an elephant um, that hunters in India would have used um, to, to while they were hunting. That's their, that was their mode of transportation. It was called a how to. Um, and these would have been their backup pistols essentially. Uh, while they were riding they would have these with them uh, instead of one of their long guns. Um, and just in case they came upon a tiger or, or, or got attacked by a tiger, uh, it would also you know, possibly be a backup gun while they're tiger hunting. And really what makes them unique is the fact that they're typically double barrel um, pistols such as this uh, and very large caliber. Obviously you, you can imagine if you're protecting yourself against a tiger attack, you're gonna want a pretty big gun. Um, so you would see, you know, 20 bores. These here, we're, we're going to talk about our 577 bores. Um, so again, small pistols, double barrels, large bores. Typically, you're going to see them uh, at, from English or British manufacturers. Uh, a lot of times, they were shipped uh, right to India, so you'll see different Indian agent markings on them. Um, but we'll talk about these as well and see how that's not always the case. So let's just get into it right here. On my left, I've got a, a pair of Manton and Company 12 bore how to pistols. Uh, you can see we've got a, a period case uh, with, a, with a Manton and Company label as well. Uh, I'm sure if you're familiar with the name Manton, you know that that name is synonymous with the, with the highest quality gun manufacturing of the 19th century. These also have a Calcutta um, label on the inside. You know, more than likely, like I said, these would have got shipped right over to India uh, uh, for retail in Calcutta. Um, but again, you can just look at them. They're gold, gold inlaid, Manton Company marked. You know, they're, they still got kind of your typical English rose and scroll engraving, but, but for the most part, um, uh, you know, not super fancy because these were were actually working guns. And as you can see too, these obviously are percussion pistols. So um, you know, these would require reloading. Again, part of the reason you'd have two barrels there because you don't have time to reload um, in in a, a quick situation like that. But with two pistols, you're going to get four shots off essentially. So, uh, but then we go from there up front here. As I mentioned, these are a pair of 577. Uh, how to pistols now these are mark John Dixon and son Edinburgh um, Now John Dixon and son they manufactured their own how to pistols these are actually uh, Were just retailer mark these would have been retailed by John Dixon and son um, They were manufactured uh, in the Birmingham gun trade um, Obviously Birmingham at the time as well had a, a, a very robust gun trade um, But they would have different different manufacturers that they would manufacture guns and, and, and put retailers and markings on them uh, to be sold there. So that's what these are. But again, you're talking a 577 cartridge, um, a very big cartridge at the time. It would have been fairly complimentary with the long guns uh, as well. Um, you know, possibly they could have had used the same bullets, um, likely a different cartridge. Going off to my right here, you can see these are a pair of Howda pistols that were actually manufactured in Germany. Um, at the time, uh, you know, Ind India was under British control. Um, again, the, a lot of them were used uh, specifically in India. Um, with these being manufactured in Germany, you know, I, whether or not these were manufactured for a hunter that was going, a German hunter that was going to India, uh, or maybe he, he had used them for some other purpose, I don't know, but, but certainly very, very interesting. Um, but these are a, a pair of 20 bores, uh, as you can see on these. Um, each has a uh, inlet in the back for a stock. Uh, we do have the stock uh, along with it. So you, it's just one stock. You could, you could interchange them between uh, the two different guns. So, so these were manufactured, as I said, in Germany. They're marked, uh, they're both marked F. Roos um, uh, for Ferdinand Roos. Uh, he, he was a manufacturer in Mellis uh, at the time. Obviously that's right in the heart of, of, of German uh, firearms manufacturing. But again, just this beautiful case set the, with the, the stock um, for each gun. Um, it's actually, they're marked who they were made for, I believe with Nicholas Harden. It would be very interesting to see why he would have ordered a pair of Howard pistols like this, which were not typical for the German gun trade, um, to see whether he was, uh, you know, making trips to India or Africa possibly and using them there. So, um, but again, just absolutely beautiful set uh, of guns. 
um, with some, you know, possibly some very, very cool history uh, behind them as well. Um, but again, these are just uh, three of the, the very, very cool how to pistols we have coming up in our August premiere sale. Um, again, that's August 26th, 27th, and 28th with a full day preview on August 25th. Uh, please go to our website, www.rockislandauction.com, where you can see these how to pistols and all the other fantastic firearms we have coming up in that auction. Once again, August 26th, 27th, and 28th with a full day preview on August 25th.